It wasn't the shootout in the new West that we all thought it was going to be. Arizona grounded out a two touchdown win over Texas Tech Saturday night, holding the Red Raiders to 14 points. Arizona leads the nation in interceptions with eight after two more. One by Lorenzo Burns here and one by Anthony Pandy as the Wildcats went to a three linebacker look to get Pandy's talents on the field. And as far as the offense rolling up 314 yards rushing, sports director Paul Sakala was at Arizona Stadium and he's got your post game download. It's definitely safe to say that the Arizona Wildcat offense found its running game on Saturday night and they found it in a strong way against Texas Tech, especially in the second half, particularly the fourth quarter on a drive that started on the one yard line on their own end and made it 99 yards all the way to the end zone. Of course, every play was a running play. That's all I'm his dream. I mean, coaches were preaching it all, uh, all drive, all the timeouts and injuries from the other team. And, you know, they just say we got to finish this drive, punch it in and be physical up front. And it's fun blocking for running backs and quarterbacks that can run like they can. What also helped out? Khalil Tate breaking off an 84 yard touchdown in the first half. Here's what Khalil Tate had to say afterwards on Saturday night. We knew that that would be a, you know, X factor in this game, you know, me using my legs a little more. So, you know, really just being coachable, you know, luckily my, my old line did a great job in blocking that play and, you know, it resulted in how we wanted it to. It's always nice giving up 14 points in a win, but there's still a couple things we can clean up. Um, Take away some of the big plays. We know a little bit more about our team and personnel wise and, and what to expect. And, you know, as coaches, we've got to put our, our guys in, in a position to be successful. You know, anytime you win, you gain some confidence. But I think the message in the locker room was uh, yeah, right now, everybody remembers this feeling, but remember what it took for this feeling. With the win on Saturday night against Texas Tech, Arizona now moves to 2-1 and one on the year, and they have a little bit of time to soak in that victory. Why is that? Well, the Cats have another bye week. They won't play again until September 28th. That's when Pac-12 play begins against UCLA. Reporting from Arizona Stadium, Paul C. Carla, News 4, Tucson.